What's going on ladies and gentlemen, Gator coming back at you with a fresh new episode of the 413 Outdoors, the greatest show on the YouTubes. So today we're going to be tying another ice fly. I don't have a name for this one, but I'll put some kind of snarky name up in the title for you guys because I know y'all love that so much. Pretty simple little worm pattern, it works real well as a dropper, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> quit my yap in here. Let's jump into what you're going to need to tie this bad boy. Alright, so not too many materials here, not a very complicated tie, just going to need some black thread. I'm using 8 aught here, a size 12 curved nymph hook, some quarter inch scud back, some olive marabou, and I'm going to be using some olive hairs here to tie this pattern. Let's jump down to the vice view and get going. Alrighty, so to start this fly off here, just going to start my thread in the usual fashion. Bring her back down way 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 back down to right about there at the base of my hook bend. Then I'm going to take some of those marabou fibers and this is very similar to what we did in the last pattern, the skookum scud there where we're going to be using a cup, a tuft of marabou as a tail. Capture those fibers down just like so. And I'm going to bring those up the hook shank. There you go. That's pretty good. Trim off any stray fibers that are going to be a problem. Oop, break my thread off while I'm in the way there. That's fine. Just restart her. Then I'm going to travel down that marabou. Make sure it's really well tied down. Mint. Okay. Going back to my base there. Do, 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 if I can find where I put everything here. Alright, so slight little technical difficulties there. I'm just blind and can't see stuff that's right in front of my face. So to start my scud thread, or my scud back act rather, I'm going to cut a little notch in the side of it there. I don't know if you can see that too well on the camera or not. But what that's going to do is that's going to allow the thread to kind of fall into that notch and really lock this down and keep it from being able to move. Bring that scud back down. Just like that. Then I'm going to take my dubbin. Make myself a little dubbin noodle here. Bada bing, bada boom. Then I'm going to simply dub the body of this fly. Then I'm going to bring it up till I have about 3 sixteenths of an inch to the eye of my hook. Come up in there with a half hitch just to hold the thread. And I'm going to be using the rotary function of my vise to do this, but obviously if you don't have that rotary function, you can still do it, it's just a little bit harder. I'm going to take my scud back and now I'm going to wrap this up the body of my fly. And once I get to where I stop my thread, oop, ooh, ooh, falling apart on me. 
I'm going to tie that scud back and off with a couple good solid wraps. All right. Now that that's on there, like so, I'm actually going to come back with a little bit of black. Here's your dubbing. I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but I just like to add a little hot spot in there because most insects, they're, the header is a uh, yeah, different color than the body. But obviously, if you want to do it all the same color, that's fine too. And just build up a little head out of dubbing. Nothing too fancy here. Just enough to be a little something something and hide the end. Couple of half hitches to hold my thread. Then bring the whip finisher in and finish this bad boy off. Three, four, five, six, seven. Finish. Come back with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and finish. Trim the thread off. And there she is. Nothing at all fancy, but that little marabou tail there has a lot of real good action. The scud backing gives it a really cool kind of translucent sheen and you still have a little bit of a uh, leggy bugginess from the hairs you're at the front there. Not very pretty, but as long as they work, right? Alright, so that's really all there is to it. Just a little bit of scud backing and some dubbing and you got yourself a fly, man. This one works super, super awesome as a dropper because it is so light because there's no weight on it that it doesn't really fish well as an ice fly. But if you use it as a dropper under either a conventional jig or one of the heavier ice flies we've tied, pretty, pretty mint. That little super subtle movement from the marabou and the sheen, outstanding. So if you enjoyed this video, which I sincerely hope that you did, I'm going to ask you to click that button right there and subscribe. And if you want to watch more fly tying videos, I will put a link up there where you can watch more. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Gator, and I'll see you later. Goodbye and God bless.